we're back to live. Uh, you might have to try a refreshing. Mine just came back automatically, so that's good. It just came back. Okay, cool. Um, it was very funny when you said that I I should know or I do know. Yep. I was so shook. It took me like, it took me way too long to realize what you're talking about, which is very funny because today at lunch I read the battle between Perrin and Slayer. Ah. Like the first time when she has the dream spike, yep. or he has the dream spike, and then he forges his hammer. I'm an hour and a half into the last battle. Oh fuck! The chapter. So chapter thirty-seven. Long, the memory of light. How, how long is that like chapter in time? Nine hours four minutes. Nice. That it's the largest chapter I've ever seen in a book. But mm -hmm. yeah, so the the whole I don't mind telling you the guys this. I mean, it, it's stuff that's not really relevant to what you're doing right now. But uh, what Scratch is doing, um, Derek told me what he wanted to do with him, and I'm like, okay, cool. And so the way that I kind of made it, uh, according to what Derek's wishes were for Scratch was essentially um, it's kind of a mix between like what the machines did in the Matrix and, you know the architect and creating the Matrix and stuff it's a mix between that and Teleron Riod call it the world of dreams man you don't need to flex that hard sorry I, I have just... no fucking idea how to pronounce it I, I listen to it all mm -hmm. the time so it is yeah because I read it right <laughs> So yeah. Half the time I never say it out loud. Gotcha. Yeah, so... Basically, what Scratch has done, like, logistically how it works, is pretty much how he described it to Scratch. But, uh, essentially, he... If you want to think of it in the Wheel of Time sense, consider dying as, like, going to sleep. But instead of going into a dream, he, like, captures you and puts you into a dream shard, similar to what... Moradin does with Rand in the later books. Instead of Rand going to sleep and dreaming his own dreams or even entering Teleron Rio, the dream world, I mean, uh, he gets pulled into a dream shard. That's essentially yeah. what Scratch is doing with people's souls as they die. I mean, doesn't Rand force his way in, not knowing what he's doing, though? Once they become tethered at Shatter Logoth, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, that's way too specific for what we're talking about and not necessary. <laughs> no, I mean, it is, it is and it isn't. Cake is so good. Yeah. I'm like shrinking in my chair. I should sit up. Look shit on stream. It's overrated. There we go. Uh, so stream, we are back. Uh, we're just waiting for the other guys to get back. Um, no rush, really. I mean, it is what oh. it is. There's Brain. Oh. oh, there's Bob. There's Bob. Yep. And we'll uh, get back to it once Lauren gets back to not really in any sort of just forgot to uncover. Ah. Uh, yeah, did yeah, you even I'm get up? You. Like, You're well, the last uh, voice I heard. No. Then I had a smoke and came <laughs> back, and you're the first voice I heard. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so you're all back. Um, so uh, we pick up with you guys. Um, is anybody on the deck of the ship? Are you all just down in the workshop? I figured any time I'm working or not working, I'm probably going to be in the workshop since I'm now the boat's in. I'm probably just wherever oh. they are, because I'm just, I was talking to them about what happened. Okay. Uh, so, with that then, uh, Ebby, you approach the boat with, uh, I already forgot Kelly. her name, Kelly in tow. Uh, and yeah, she's, uh, she's with you. Okay, I'm gonna go to the boat. I'm gonna walk around and be like, "Hey guys, you hey guys, can I can I get the 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 senior crew members? Uh, we're, I gotta we gotta do like a huddle. So I don't know how we that. officially declare team meetings, but eventually you find them all in the workshop. Apparently, cool. Yeah, let's just meet in the workshop. Can yeah. just probably Vendaris doesn't want to stop working, and neither does the bosun. Probably they're busy. They're, they they want to build their stuff. As you walk in, stop. As you so, walk in, so. you, you you see Gran, 
His arm is, like, on the table, and he's, like, lining up, like, some other, like, lumps of metal and stuff, and, like, he's like, forging it and casting it and turning it, and he's, like, trying to get uh, what appears to be a, a lump of metal into the shape of his arm that is also sitting next to the lump of metal on the workshelf. My immediate thought was, does your arm go to your afterlife by itself, and then when you die... Do you go to your afterlife with the new arm, or do you rejoin the old arm? The arm just, like, slowly goes from, like, spread out to just rotates to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, what was that? Hey! No, it's... Maybe, you're not dead. I'm not dead, and I apologize if my death killed one of you. It was a little close. It wasn't my plan. Hmm. Well, I'm yeah. glad it wasn't me. They both collapsed, and uh, then Varys stood there and watched. It's great. I, I thought arm. they were sleeping, to be fair. <laughs> All just suddenly? Also, that just collapsed. Why are we letting this rapscallion free reign of our boat and oh, forge? This is, this is Kelly. Hey, how's it going? Hello. Hello, Kelly. Jesus Christ. How's it going? Are you, are you talking about Kelly or Vin Varys? Vin Varys. <laughs> oh, I wasn't sure. You said rapscallion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, no, but, right. Um, I, I made a call to someone in my church, and they have information on Nithalios. Oh, well, a wonderful. useful call, then. They are... Well, Nithalios has laid siege to the necropolis of Kalebna. Hmm. It's good. actively engaged in corrupting the souls of its uh, occupants. There are people that live uh, there to, to operate it uh, and uh, defend it, I suppose. And, uh, well, it's not going great, but uh, they are pretty hardy. There's a lot of magic users in there, and they are not to be trifled with. So, They've kind of set up a siege outside of the city, uh, unfortunately. So it seems like Nithelios is all over the place and currently at war. I don't know for what reason, and neither did they. But it looks like uh, on, the, on the big scale of the world, uh, Nithelios is a, a really huge lurking problem. It sounds like it. Definitely yeah, sounds like it. Yeah, it looks like our, our entanglement with Lyrian was uh, actually just kind of a preview. Hmm. So I'd keep an eye out for warlocks. Uh, and I say that because I got to dip back to the uh, necropolis for a little bit uh, to play defense. Ah. Oh. Are you leaving? Only temporarily. I got Kelly here. Yeah, she don't worry. I'm I'm the new one. I'm uh, I'm joining the party, as it were. No, Kel Kelly, you're not joining the party. You're, I'm not you're joining stay, the party. You're gonna stay on the boat. I'm gonna stay on the and, boat. Uh, if somebody dies or gets hurt, you're gonna help them. All right. Can I kill people? Guys, can can she kill people? Uh, don't kill anyone that's on the boat right now, but. But sure. if somebody Memorize. else comes on to the boat. everyone's face on the boat. Yeah, you need to know the crew okay. and then kill not the crew if they come on the boat. Got yes. it. I, I should probably... that sense, right, guys? Is that Maybe ask one of thing? us first before you go. But without yeah. us saying that this person's safe. Okay. Yeah, maybe you should guys just, like work out a phrase or something. Okay, so like... Uh, yeah, the phrase will be kill that motherfucker. Code murder. <laughs> okay, I'm just thinking out loud here, right? Uh, I'm going to pitch something to you. If you don't like it, you pitch it right back. Sound good? Sure. So, first things first, as the newly appointed head priest of the ship, uh, I've got to kind of get to know the crew, right? Sure. Sure. So I'm thinking I call them in one by one, have a sit down. Hey, nice to meet you. You know, I'm Kelly. What's your name? That's cool. Schmooze him up a little bit, right? To what? Okay. Unnecessary. Okay. 
maybe surreptitiously, surreptitiously get their measurements and stuff, just for final rights. You know, if any of them die, we gotta, you know, gotta do things are by you, the book. Are you gonna keep them alive or try to? Well, absolutely. But if somebody does go, you know, you I mean, want to know what with you, actually. Yeah, that's just being prepared, really. Yeah, and you don't want right. to use like an eight-foot casket for somebody. Well, like my size, for example, it's a waste of wood. Preaching to the choir. Yeah. Maybe wait until we're at sea in case anybody has second thoughts. Sure, 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 <laughs> sure. Yeah. And then um, anybody that isn't part of the crew, anybody I don't interview and get measurements for, or names, and uh, they'll go in my book. But uh, anybody that I don't get that information for, if anybody's skulking around or whatever, just a quick little. There shouldn't and, uh, be any skulkers. It's all about. Yeah, may maybe try and keep them a little alive at least. At least until we can talk to them. What's a little Perhaps. alive to you? Alive. Yeah, to you got to be really specific with us. A able alive. to speak and not immediately going to expire. Okay. Perhaps they're tied up, and that's about it. How yes, about that would be ideal. Our, our... That wouldn't be the the qualifications of only tied up. Well, yeah, you maybe said ask alive before first, so I was okay. <laughs> Got it. Okay. So I'll tie them up, keep them alive with limbs intact until I check in with you guys. And if you guys say, hey, we don't know who that person is, I can take a limb or two or 12. Uh, sure. I don't see this possibly okay. going wrong. So, yes. <laughs> what do you plan to do with these limbs? Well, oh, there's limb all goblin? sorts of things you can do with limbs. You I'm ever seen wave. the show over at the. Uh, <laughs> I would have I would have recognized you. Never mind. You haven't been there. It's fine. I'm gonna, it's fine. I'm gonna, as he asks, what can you do with limbs? I'm going to take my hand that is currently on the bench, pick it up in the other hand, and wave at him with it. Please do not start attaching flesh to yourself, Gran. That would be disturbing. Suit. <laughs> do you do like a puppet thing? Yeah. Me? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you no, can't. No, Kelly, but, but yeah, you, you, you're kind of oh. like a living puppet. Sorry, I didn't realize. I... My bad. Yeah, there's a metal guy here. Uh, no, I see that. It kind of took me aback a little bit. I thought it was probably just somebody wearing a suit. I'm gonna lean over to Marin. Racist. <laughs> so, so uh, for the rest of this conversation, by the way, Kelly's just gonna be like walking around you guys and like looking you guys up, like sizing you guys up. Pulls out like a like a small probably about only two foot long um, measuring tape that's like completely flexible. Not like one that you'd use at like a job site or whatever, but like a seamstress would use and like starts mm. measuring you guys like foot sizes and inseams and stuff as you guys are discussing this. Um, Is this normal? And Kind uh, of. Yeah. So something funny will happen later, but we'll get to it when it happens. But that's what she's going to be doing <laughs> for the rest of whatever you guys are talking about. Interviewing and poking. Oh, I should have handed out the coffees. What was I even thinking? This isn't really a meeting without coffees. I bought everybody Thunderbucks. Oh, thank you. Oh, mm. excellent. Kind. Oh. Do, do I do I need to reheat it or is it is it good? Uh, I went on like walk with it. It's been like twenty minutes. All right, I'll reheat them. <laughs> okay. We should uh, get some of these beans to go so we can brew it on the open sea. I guess we definitely do idea. that, but come prepared with some reading material because there's usually a line. Oh, hmm. never mind. But I mean, it's worth it. But you know. So, any questions? No, you're leaving. A hired drone replacement. Very kind of you. Question. Oh. Uh, you fucked me up and them when you died. How oh, will that affect me? Yes, is that going to be a problem? So about that, um, me dying um, sent me to an afterlife, uh, and I, I, I was returned. Um, so that gets me out of the uh, out of the thing. The curse is broken oh. for me. Like a get out of jail free card for you? Yeah. All right. And I asked the guy about it, and he said okay. that it would be really interesting yeah. to see if one of you also died again. To the you know if it would uh, have similar effects or if they would compound or, uh, you know. 
So Compare. you don't need to do that. But I think if another one of you dies, something similar-ish will happen. Okay. So avoid dying. Nice. Got it. Yeah, avoid dying. <laughs> Sounds like I'll do my best. But also, hey, do you guys still have that puzzle box? Uh, yes, I have it in the bag of holding. Do you want it? We were going to return it to the Aerithed clerics, see if they wanted it, but... Do you have a particular use for it? Uh, only as maybe it'll help me defend the city. If it'll help you defend the city, then you're welcome to it, of course. I see no reason it like, helps you. What if we chain a guy up to a chair, right? And then we link ten soldiers to this one guy, and we send the soldiers out into the field, right? And then we just sit there and just pour health potions down this guy's throat <laughs> for like days. And then the soldiers just wreak havoc, you know? That sounds that good. sounds very good. Yeah, here, take Like the not at all ethical. Okay, but yes. definitely accomplishable. <laughs> and, and and tell me how good it works. I'm very yes. interested. So because when when I go off to my army, I might need you to, you know, or off to my <laughs> kingdom, I might need a good Have army. Some immortal soldiers. <laughs> Did you guys just create reigns for super soldiers? <laughs> 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 like, <what the> fuck? <laughs> open this box <laughs> <clears throat> okay that was amusing we'll just tell them that they're super soldiers and the dark secret will be that we have one kept back that's just being tortured one person <laughs> this is constantly in pain <laughs> and if he dies we just take another one back just constantly <laughs> funneling health potions into him. <laughs> yep. We'll save someone special for that job. Uh, probably around this time. Uh, Gran, you feel and hear a ting against your leg. Hmm? What the hell was that? <laughs> Kelly's got a dagger and is poking your leg. Ting. Ting. Excuse me. So is, is it like poking? is it like armor or like is this you? Is there anything inside? Yes. Can I see how it? How hard is she? How hard is she poking me? Oh, not hard. Like, yeah. I was hoping you'd say one point of damage, so I could fall over. But... No, not hard enough. <laughs> not hard enough to do damage. <laughs> She's not even using like a sharp pointy bit. She's like hitting you with a hit, uh, like just tapping. <clears throat> yeah, sure. I just like <clears throat> open it up. See? Wait. So you're not actually a person? I mean, that's pretty fucking rude. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, I, I don't just... think he is a person. I, I agree with you on that, actually. All right. Um, no. she, she just, like, turns back to the rest of the party and, like, points at him and goes, I, I can't work with this. What, what don't, do I, don't worry about that. I'll what do I do that. with it? Uh, just put it, it back together. Right vaguely in the right here. order. I don't know anything about circuitry. I'm just putting it out there. It's okay. If he, uh... I wouldn't worry about him. Does he human magic problem. work on it? Yes. Uh, yes, surprisingly. Well, that's weird. Tell me about it. I can demonstrate if you'd like to see. That would be interesting. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Okay, so... I'm actually curious how this works now. I'm going to touch myself for three. Mm -hmm. You each get healed one. Right. No. Cool. Abby has no effect. Cool. Excellent. Okay. Yeah, so that was that was how I thought it would feel. Yep. Also, Evie, you're at one hit point, by the way. <laughs> oh, right. That's still yeah. all. Yeah. Oh. You Technically, like you No, got no. Uh, I'm going to go in a minute. So, uh, so don't worry about me. Unless you guys want me to stick around for a little bit. But, I think I mean, we were going to go. I can, we, I can stay and talk about that because I am going to come back. I'm, I'm leaving so, Kelly here so that I can find you. So oh, was, yes. It was kind of a selfish thing I was doing because, yeah, I'm hiring my own replacement, but I'm also leaving a beacon wait, for myself. Wait, mm. Are you going to be assuming this body when you come back? Because ew. What, me? No, I, I'm not going to possess you. Oh, good, good, good. Well, no, I'm, I'm not part of that. No, but he did figure out that I'm possessing this body. You're pos wait, what? Moving on. Big things are coming. <laughs> Alright, that's a little weird. 
Uh, I didn't, I didn't know we were, like, abruptly, like, leaving right away. Uh, is it okay if we go back to the theater and grab some stuff? I got some stuff. Yeah, we can leave in an hour or two. Alright. The way you say stuff just feels so ominous, but, but, I mean, yeah. I got, I got some stuff. I'm gonna need some help carrying, too, probably one or two of you. Maybe just the big guy, then, uh, if, if it's a guy, girl, uh, it, thing. You look hardy. How much can you it's, carry? It's working on its arm right now. Gran, you should, you should be thank you. It. Maybe yeah, just Gran. Uh, if not Gran, then like two of you guys to help carry stuff. Uh, I don't know if I'm exactly in working condition right I now. Could, so I could help. I've been bored That's... all morning. Oh, thank you very afternoon, much. Afternoon, whatever time it is. I've been staring at my dice. Oh, I appreciate you. Sure. Do you want some new dice? Sure. Awesome. I got a set back at the... Y you'll see. Okay. They're real nice. Why does everything <laughs> she says is so <laughs> ominous. <laughs> you do not want to know this character's backstory. <laughs> oh, my God. Funny enough, one of the first NPCs I created for this campaign and was a former character idea of mine. Mm. Mm -hmm. Even down Shane to the voice. Smoking halfway. Yes, absolutely. It's going to kill my voice to do that for very long. That's why I chose not to do it as a character. I so said I went out for cigarettes and I came back with a human cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> the size of a, a cigarette. Pretty much. She's Yeah, she's the stub. Yep. So, yeah. No, I'll, uh, I'll so work I'm back gonna... into a body when I want to find you guys. Okay, or, uh, and then I'll how are you going to get here? Uh, I'll, yeah. I, we we have people at the... Well, assume, I'll come back when I, I assume things have settled down at the necropolis or uh, for other reasons. E either way, the reason I will return will be important enough for me to ask the Order Ovate to bring me to you directly. We have people in the necropolis that are for moving people, but they're all tied up in the war effort right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to make sure because if we were Black Marsh, I didn't want it to be a problem, and then we were no, separated I'll... further. Kelly will stay with the boat, so if no, I, I need to find yeah, you guys, yeah, I'll just I'll I'll tell I'll find, I'll contact Kelly, and then she'll tell me where you are, and then I'll yep. just warp nope, to you. I somehow. didn't realize you could just kind of whoop. That's, that's fantastic. Well, or if it's something more complicated, I can always get Kelly to. Regale well, the mean, information. He can now. It's just really expensive. Like really expensive. How expensive? Like twenty five hundred gold pieces worth of diamonds. Expensive. One it's one way trip. Not, not quite worth unless uh, you're trying to rejoin. I think. The upside is you can go anywhere. Even mm. places behind magical barriers. Ooh, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, it's really cool. I not that I've ever used it. Of course not. That would be against the rules. You uh, <laughs> might be able to convince the person I'm going to to trade you one for your puzzle box. Ooh, maybe. Just an idea. I'll think about it. Oh, uh, you're hanging on to that, right? The box? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you were taking it. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. That, I'll, uh, I'll see if I can score you one of those boxes, the teleporty ones. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. So, are we handing over the box permanently, or is it like a loan scenario? I think it's a loan scenario. I think a loan would be better. Uh, he creates his own magical objects. It's very likely he might be able to duplicate it. If not, he'll be able to work backwards to figure out how the magic works, and that will also be valuable to him. Oh, uh, all of that sounds fantastic. I he just, breaks some stuff, but I'm pretty sure you'd, it, it yeah. should be fine. It should be yeah. fine. Yeah, it's be probably fine. fine, yeah. It'll be fine. Just when you said the idea of the super soldier, I just... It blue was blue. my first, I was just like, oh, yeah, no, this would be really great if one of us just always was chugging health potions, and then I was like, oh, but what if we did more, you know? <laughs> On a grand scale. <laughs> so, you guys are heading to Black Marsh? I believe so. I believe so. Crazy thought. What if you casted Healing Spirit 
and had them sit on that person that's in the chair. Every six seconds, I get a huge burst of healing. It would keep your super soldiers up, and it would only take one small piece of magic. So what and if just you had eternal multiple people doing that? Yeah. Like different iterations. So that it was small bursts happening every second. <laughs> yeah, about every six seconds or so, they'd get a burst of healing. It would save costs on healing potions. I mean, unless you got a really good alchemist. I mean... But ex healing potions are expensive. It's not like you brew them up in a big vat, or do you? I don't know. I've never made them. Just poisons. We definitely brew poison in a vat, but, I mean, we of have course. so many snakes. I mean, who who would brew it in anything but a vat? I mean, you're not going to get very much. You're only going to so be able to kill snakes. 100 or 200 people out of a small bottle. Like, come on. That's a, that's a lot of people that you'd be killing. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of people. You should... Uh, yeah, no, that's... You definitely don't make poison in your bathtub when you're starting out. <sighs> yep, definitely not. I've no. never made poison in a bathtub, so... Oh, it's great. You can get a lot... Uh, I've heard you can get a lot out of a bathtub. It leaves a really big watermark, though. It's bigger yeah. than a cooking pot. Well, you don't use it afterwards. Uh, it irritates the skin. I heard. Friend told me. <laughs> a lot of weird friends. Yes, I do. You're going to meet one of them if you come with me to the to the shop. Oh, yes. Uh, does someone else want to come and help? Uh, I have seven strength, but sure. Why not? Uh, I'm very weak, but uh, well, I guess... That's if... true. I mean, I don't know if you saw, and I kind of flex my, my belt. It is a belt, right? Belt of Dwarven kind, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Right? Or I am did you fairly... get the whole giant strength? I can't remember. I don't know. I Sir, probably... why is your waist moving like that? I believe I'm uh, quite quite strong. I, I possibly could carry it all myself. Yeah, it's the belt. All right. Well, um. Yeah. All right. Sounds sounds good to me. All right. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Uh, she will lead you and whoever else is coming. Uh. Back. Um. To the end of the line, uh, where you see the copper wire is still, well, uh, I guess you haven't been here. So you see her kind of reach up to this, like, really decrepit building. Looks like it had been burned down once already. <laughs> like, it's all just charred with red writing on the front uh, above the doorway that just says end of the line. Um, and she goes over to, like, an, oh, an open hole where a doorknob would be, but isn't, and she, like, starts untying, like, some copper wire that's holding the two doors together, and she, like, takes the copper wire, puts it in her pocket, opens up the door, and goes, all right, yeah, it's, it's just in through here, it's in one of the back rooms. Follow me. Uh, you wearing shoes? Um, Yes. Okay, good. I was gonna say if you weren't wearing shoes or slippers by the door, there's a mess. So I, I thought sticky. you could see my giant boots made of plate. You're absolutely right. How could I have forgotten? Maybe I wasn't. You know, didn't get to you in time. We, we the meeting was very short. Okay, I didn't have time. I don't do well under interrogations. Let's just go. Okay. <laughs> Uh, she leads you through the front room, which is, for lack of a better word, really spooky. Uh, there's, like, cobwebs in the corner. There's, like, some furniture that's, like, somewhat damaged here or there. You see a large desk with a high chair in the center. And off to the side of the desk, you see a massive pool of blood. Somebody died here. Very recently, an entire body's worth of, pers uh, of, of blood is just all over the floor. About an inch or two thick, and it's slowly seeping towards the front door. She goes, all right, it, it's just back through here. Step through the blood, come into the back room. And she, like, shoves open this door uh, that's on a dual hinge. So it, like, comes back and <laughs> opens and closes. Uh, and she leads you into a back room where she says, once you're in here, don't make any sudden movements or stupid will kill you. Uh, just okay. ease, make your movements at a nice pace. Nothing sudden. Okay. Okay. I will do that. Uh, you enter a back room, which uh, is many shelves. 
Um, they're all over the place. You see a small, uh, kind of burned away rocking chair in the corner. And uh, you see her kind of walk over to one of the shelves and starts picking some stuff off the shelves and sets it down on the rocking chair. Then grabs a blanket, goes back, puts a blanket down on the chair and then puts all that stuff back onto the blanket and starts going around. And she goes, all right, so over by the back door over there, you're going to see a shelf. On top of the shelf, you're going to see a single boot with a hole in the heel. You're going to see a magical lamp covered in dust. And you're going to see a pair of dice. Those are the dice. You can have the dice. And she just goes on, continuing to grab stuff. So I'm just grabbing the dice right now? Okay. You grab the dice. Uh, no, I was asking. I was oh, asking. Yeah. Uh, if you want to. It's up to you. Because the lamp's right there. I mean, the other stuff she kind of alluded to, I don't know if I was supposed to grab that. She's going to grab her stuff. Uh, she okay. offered you a pair of dice, and you said sure, and she was just pointing out where they are. Okay, I guess She's... I will grab the pair of dice and look okay. at them. Okay. Uh, as you pick them up, they're not an unfamiliar feeling, but they're definitely not what normal dice are made of. Um, these feel porous. And as you look deeper at it. Make either an investigation check or a medicine check. Okay, medicine's plus one, so we'll go with that. Okay, 17 is not bad. Uh, you're holding bone dice. They are made from bones. When he said porous. I will try not to think anything of it and put them in my pocket. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you have a couple of minutes while she's gathering stuff and putting it into her blanket that's sitting on the rocking chair. Um, what would you like to do in this back room? You're just going to stand there and wait, or do you want to look around? No, I'm, I'm going to look around. Okay. And while I'm looking around, I'm going to talk to her. Okay. Or, yeah. Make whatever. a perception check to see what you see when you're looking around. Okay. Right. That's going to be bad, probably. Yeah. A zero. Okay. Yeah, I like that. That's that's good. Mm -hmm. It's dark back here, so I get it. Uh, do you have dark vision? If you do, you get advantage. I do. Maybe. I should no. have mentioned that. I'm sorry. I'm a variant. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what what do you say to her as you're kind of looking around? <clears throat> Is there uh, anything you want me to grab? I see you kind of gathering stuff. I don't know how you want me to. Gather as well. All I'm saying is kind of like looking at the shelves. Uh, um, no, I'm I'm just I'm just gathering the few essentials that I need. Um, it'll just take a couple of minutes as I'm gathering the stuff, uh, and then I'll and then I'll have you help me carry it all back. Uh, it, it's not gonna be too intense. Don't worry about it. Um, just kind of you know, hang out. Um. Look around if you want. You can you can check out the front room. You can check out the place. Tour it if you want. Um, I just have to stress. In this room, no sudden movements. Stupid will kill you. He is stupid. And, uh, who's stupid? You're stupid! You, like, turn around, and what you thought Sorry. was a wall is literally an ogre, like, just sitting there, like not moving his arms and legs have been completely painted black and he's just sitting there like not making a move you're stupid <laughs> oh i i apologize okay sounds great um i'll just slowly look around you said uh you i could look around the front room as well yeah yeah feel free i mean we're gonna, we're gonna be gone for a while, so I'm sure this place is gonna get looted. So, I mean, if you want anything, I mean, just check with me. And if if it's uh, it's if it's something I need, I'm I'm gonna take it from you. But if it's something I don't, I mean, feel free. Okay, sounds great. Those little I undercity will... bastards will be up here within a couple of days, and they'll loot this place dry. So, I will slowly walk out towards the front room. Okay. And look around there. Cool. Make a perception check. Uh, the doors are open, so it's not super dark in there. Sure. Okay, a 10. Um, yeah, a creepy front room, big pile of blood. Uh, there is the desk, um, you know, with several drawers on it. 
Um, there is a curtain behind the desk that is closed over. Um, just kind of glancing towards it, you do see that the room behind seems to be much larger. Um, and it's up to you if you want to walk over there and open it up and look. But, uh, yeah. Mm, yeah, I'll slowly walk over. Okay. Uh, you walk over there, and uh, do you do you part the curtain there, or do you just, like, peek in? Mm, I'll peek in first. Okay. Uh, what you see is a very large auditorium. Um... It is a theater. Uh, you see a stage down at the far end, and you see many different uh, pews, uh, large benches uh, that go from one way down the to the other, uh, except for the center row, where is the kind of walk space. Um, there's about 12 rows of benches to the left and to the right. Uh, you figure this place could probably sit, you know, maybe 100, 120 people. Um, and as you kind of glance in and you look around, you see that there is a large, uh, curtain that has been currently drawn back, but presumably when the show is about to start, like, it's closed, and then they open it up, and they show the scene and whatnot. Uh, you can see many props on the stage behind, um, you know, big wood boards with things painted on them. You see a couple, uh, a rolling mountain, uh, hill, uh, mountain hill, uh, you see, like, a castle, um, yeah, these are obviously just big plywood cutouts that have been painted um as you continue to look around uh above you you see what appears to be a hundred two hundred three hundred tiny not tiny um like probably halfling sized essentially dolls or puppets hanging from the ceiling about 20 feet up what the puppets look like they're doing they're just hanging uh just like hanging. they've been that that's their state like of they're, <clears throat> storage i guess like they're strung up yep okay um and there and there's no there's no buddy like in attendance right uh nobody's in attendance no aside okay. from yeah, yourself gonna... stupid and um uh kelly there's nobody here or at least appears that way Okay, I'm gonna take my head out of the curtain, and uh, that's uh, terrifyingly creepy. I'm just gonna keep looking around the front room. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh, give me an investigation check or another perception check, and then it'll oh, be it the up. last one for the front room. Okay. Um. So looking through, do you open the drawers on the desk, or are you just looking through the shelves and stuff around the? Yeah, I'll open drawers, but I'm not gonna like open like a box inside of a drawer sure okay uh as you open up a couple of drawers um you see that there is a uh log book uh in the center drawer of the main desk um your choice if you want to open it we can get to that in a minute if you do uh there's an inkwell and a quill in that same drawer and underneath the uh, uh the book there, uh, you see a flyer that appears pretty dated and it says come to sorry, come to the end of the line where you will see a wonderful tale that tells of the tribulations of all mortal lives, the question of whether or not your soul continues with you or is reborn into another is one of many tales that you can see entrance five silver children free please no elderly i wish we would have known about this prior the uh would have been fun the pamphlet seems to be very dated <laughs> very very old some of the ink is faded in places and the parchment itself feels old Perhaps for my time, yeah. I'll uh, I'll just keep kind of walking around and I'll, and then at a certain point I'll just wait, I guess. Okay. Um. The uh, it, in one of the other drawers you do find uh six different vials of liquid, two are green, one is black, three are red. 
Yeah, I'm gonna grab those and I'm gonna not pocket them. But I'm just gonna hold on to them. Okay. And uh, if that was all I found, mm -hmm. then I'm gonna start looking at the logbook. Okay. Uh, so you look in the logbook and uh, a lot of the top of the page is the way that it's outlined is the date and then it has a list of who all showed up. Um, this logbook is three or four years old. Uh, the first couple of pages are three or four years old. And then as you keep flipping more and more pages, it's like a week by week thing. So the first page is three years ago and then the next one is three years minus a week. Etc. Etc. And uh, you eventually notice uh, a trend when it first opened. You know there is 120 names on a page, and then the very bottom line says turned away. You know, a hundred people, and then the next week, 120 turned away 65 people, and then the next week, 120 turned away 50 people, and you notice that the amount that are turned away is getting smaller and smaller and smaller until you notice that it's no longer 120 people that are seeing the show. It's 110 and then a hundred and then 95 and then 90. And you notice attendance is dwindling as each week continues and goes on. Um, eventually to the point where the last page that you get to is for the play that happened about a 10 day ago. As you notice the last six or seven entries, instead of going on a weekly basis, went on a 10 day basis. Um, they're having shows less often and Four shows ago, there was 20 people. Three shows ago, there was 13 people. Two shows ago, there was six people. And the last show, there was three people. And there's been no entry in this 10-day. <clears throat> that looks like I didn't miss it, at least. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's all you see in the front room. Okay. Yeah. I will wait patiently. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there's another, you know, couple of minutes of uh, kind of clanging and banging in the other room, and eventually um, Kelly comes out carrying uh, a blanket that's been, like, wrapped over and tied and then, like, stuck a, a pole through it, and she comes out and goes, All right, I'm good to go. Uh, I just need you to carry one thing for me. So I'll, I'll show you where it is. Come on in. She takes you back into the back room, and she points at the rocking chair and goes, I can't go anywhere without that. The entire rocking chair. Yes, please. Jesus. Right. It's incredibly okay. critical to my work. Why? It's a magical rocking chair. Then can't it just fly? Magic? That's not the nature of its magic. <laughs> it's magic. It is I'll magic. Walk over and, I'll walk over and I'll try to, like, situate, you know, get down, bend my sure. knees, try yep. not to break my back here, see if <laughs> I can pull it up. Sure. Uh, as you pick it up, you realize it's, like, 15, 20 pounds. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, parts of the wood are missing because this thing has clearly been in a fire. <laughs> oh, um, this and is she, uh, and she perhaps goes, I could bring this back and we could mend it. She goes, I these better days. Yeah, I mean, we could. Yeah, I mean, I I could have uh, this whole time. There must be a reason why I didn't. Oh yeah, I don't want to. Uh, if there's anything in that storeroom that you want before we leave, um, feel free. Uh, oh yeah, I would have shown the potions, I guess, before because I had them in my hand. Okay, she just goes. Oh, that's cool. Don't drink the black one. And if you want somebody to die. Have them drink the black one. <laughs> well, what's the black one? Um. Okay. Um. I don't know. I wanna. I wanna. You know, like if, if I give it to somebody, I wanna. I wanna be like, hi, you just got, and then, you know, I tell them. Oh no, you wouldn't have time. You'd be like, oh. you just, and then they'd already be dead. Oh wow. Yeah. No. Uh. Okay. How many different planes have you been to? This one. Oh boy. Okay, uh, the two green ones, those are uh, Wyvern Venom. It's um, a very potent poison. The Did black one is... Don't unstopper it <clears throat> pretty much ever. Oh, I don't think I ever will. 
Are you familiar with what an ooze is? I think I've heard of them, yes. Yeah, that's one. Uh, oh. It's basically gonna... like an acid monster, and if you drink it, they will eat you from the inside in, like, that quick. Does it spawn an ooze? Well, once it's eaten... Let's say if the you were person? to drink it, right? Right, yes. So it would it eat you, me, but and then I'd and come eat. and scoop it up and put it back in the vial. Oh, and then it's reusable. Oh, excellent. I mean, yeah. Not that I know from personal experience or anything. This right, is right. all a hypothetical. Right. Totally hypothetical. I don't know what huh? the statute of limitations is on this sort I'm of gonna, thing. I'm going to be so... staring at it to try to see if I see any body parts in it now. <laughs> uh, I mean, you don't. It's just a it's a tiny little file. And uh, you do notice, if you watch long enough, that it does move ever so slightly. Ooh. As if there's some sort of sentience to this liquid. Okay. Kind of has... um a viscous nature to it. It's a little thicker than, like, oil, even. And she just goes, yeah, uh... So, yeah, it, unless you want to die, don't drink it. But if you want okay. somebody to well, die, have them drink it, they will 100%... Well, they will probably die. Sounds good. I Normal will, uh, people I will, will absolutely them. die. So it was three green poisons? Not nah, two. Two wyvern mm -hmm. poisons, and then that is a black ooze. Uh, the other okay. three, two of them are health potions, and one of them's poison. I don't remember which, though. That's why they're there. Uh, they're all the same color? Yeah. Um, a friend was tinkering with uh, poisons and trying to see if she could make a poison that looked like a health potion. Because that's a terrible idea. She's insane and likes killing people, and was hoping to like trick people into buying her health potions, and then they would just die, and then she'd get her rocks off that way. I don't know. She's weird. Cause who would do that? You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, know what I'm saying? So, so two of these are potions of healing. You say? Yeah, yeah, and one of them is definitely poison. I just don't know which one. That's why they were in the drawer with the poison and the use. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll pocket those. Let's go back. Sure. Did you want anything in the storeroom? That shit's going to get taken. Oh, what, what what was in there? I couldn't... Uh... Uh, there's a magic boot. There's a magic lamp. Uh, there's a magic rope. Uh, oh, yes. I'll just go grab all of that. There's stupid. Uh, stupid's in there. Uh... I mean, do we want stupid? Nah, he's really stupid. <laughs> Duly fit. Um, when okay, I so I'm when go I took over the... this place, right? I bought uh -huh. this place. I was told you're buying the place as it is. Like it would, it had just burned down like a couple days before that, and I was like, you know, I want to have a theater. It'd be cool to have like a puppet place to you know put on my shows and all that stuff and i was like that sounds good and it's creepy it fits the aesthetic you know the whole death thing um and they were like okay sale is final everything that's in the building comes with the building and i'm like okay fine and i walk in there one day and he's just sitting well i mean i walked in there when i bought it and he's just sitting there he's like you're stupid and i'm like no i'm not and he's like that's okay. A, that's a good argument. I'm that, stupid. Yeah. He thinks he's a wall. He painted himself black to fit in with the charred wood. He's clearly stupid. Maybe he's smarter than you think. He might be, but then what's he doing? Yeah, I've been here for years. I don't even know what he eats. I think he just sits there with his mouth open and waits for rats to crawl in and then just eats them. I don't know. Uh, so uh, I'm going to go grab that stuff. Yeah, no, I'll uh, I'll wait here in the front room. Uh, you know what? Yeah, no, I'll just wait here. I was going to get some coffee on the way out, but I don't want to get addicted, so I'll wait. Uh, we can go on the way back. All right, uh, I'm so done. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab just literally everything Okay. if I can fit it in my backpack. Sure. Uh, there is a magical rope, a uh, magical boot, a magic lamp uh, that is dirty. Uh, the boot is, too. The rope is, too. <laughs> um. There is a very dirty pot as well. Um, 
Is there anything inside? Something black. Uh, like something was burned in it or brewed in it, and it just wasn't clean since the last time, but it's clearly like charred and like there's a, a very faint oiliness to it, but it, it's like something was charred in there and got sludgy. Hey, Kelly. Yep. What, what was this? I'm going to hold it up. Oh, that's my poison brewing pot. Uh, friend's poison brewing pot. Do you want to bring your your poison brewing pot? Uh, no, I'm good. I plan on using why, a bathtub. Why? Uh, oh, okay. So, no. You're not going to use our bathtub. Okay, not you're using the bathtub. The we should probably... brewing pot. Right? We should bring the pot then. All right. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. All, All right. right. You talked me into it. I get it. <laughs> Uh, what else is there? Uh, it's all like custom items, right? Yeah, they're these are all homebrew custom <laughs> items. <laughs> so I'm just gonna grab pretty much anything that, that okay. I can take off the ground. The the then. last thing of interest is a square cloth that is one foot by one foot. I'm gonna uh, have to have all of this. Of I, I, I will send you a list. Type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll send you a list. You're good. Okay. Yeah, I will. I will grab all of that that I can okay. grab. Yep. And then I will head back to the chair. Okay. I'm going to yoink that bitch up. All right. You pick it up easy peasy. Okay. So, uh, Thunderbooks? Hell yeah, let's go. You don't got to hit me in the face with a wet mop. You're paying, though. All right, fine. <laughs> You guys walk out the door, and as she turns around, she pulls out copper wire and starts feeding it through, and like, like ties it off, and like twists it, gets it really, really tight, and then like leans into the little hole and goes, "All right, stupid, the place is yours now." You just hear, well, "I'm not stupid, you're stupid." Like, okay, stupid. Um, uh, bye. It'll be fine. All right, where are we going? I'm gonna feel bad. Thunderbucks. Yep. All right, let's get some coffee. Magical bean water awakening, whatever they call it. Uh, you guys make your way to Thunderbucks. Uh, whatever you like to order is totally cool. She gets a twenty kilogram bag of beans. I'm gonna get bag of beans to go. Okay. Whatever the biggest bag of beans to go is. So yeah, I'm, I'm holding chair here. And I'm, I'm holding bag of beans here. Okay, so you've actually got two because she buys one, and then well, you buy I'll, one. I'll, I'll hold both. Yeah, okay. That's fine. And uh, she goes, well, we can, we can use the pot to brew it in, so that's good. It's the poison brewing pot. Okay, hold on. <laughs> she walks back into the store, and after a couple of <laughs> minutes comes out carrying this like really large box. And she goes, can you carry this one too? Or do I... I, got, I got it. This one's mine, though. Feel free to use it, but if anybody breaks it, limbs. No poison. No, but I'm taking a limb. No poison. I won't make poison in this. This is only for coffee. See, good. I'm glad I brought this other thing then. All right. All right, here we go. Okay. (laughs) You guys make your way back to the ship. Uh, Anybody on the ship, you see Kelly and Cohen walking up to the ship carrying armfuls of stuff. <laughs> hey, uh, can someone come help me? I got a lot of shit. Uh, yeah, sure. Start tossing stuff in the bag of holding for now to transport it down. Okay. So I'm just gonna just start, like, tossing you all of the random stuff. And then okay. I'll get to one, and then I'll pull out the, the, like, the pot. This is, uh, Kelly's... Er, not Kelly... It, it's, it, it belonged to a friend poison. of mine. B- it's, belonged... it's, it's Kelly's poison bread bot. Yeah, it's my poison bot. We, we'll be able to brew poison, mm. which is kind of cool. Yeah, uh, we'll put it in the workshop, I guess. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. It's probably a good spot for that one. Yep. And then uh, I'm gonna pull out the poisons as I like walk down with the other stuff to him, sure. and I'm gonna show um, Merrick the poisons that I got. Okay. Hmm? In the vials. All right. Okay, While they were doing all of that, I looted twenty five hundred dollars worth of diamonds out of our thirty k worth of diamond communal pot and yep. teleported away. 
Oh damn. Okay. <laughs> you just you didn't even say anything. You're just I'm out. No, I, I I told them everything, and then I was like, you know, I need to let them get settled in. So I'm just gonna Fair. like, I don't know if it's offensive to call it an Irish goodbye, but that's what it is. Mm-hmm. That's when you leave a party without saying anything to anybody. You just bounce. Yeah. You just kind of like disappear in the background. Yep. Okay. What's Kato been doing? I haven't heard you speak up a single time, Brian, except for when we go to break. Uh, basically been studying my spell books and uh, figuring out what I'm going to be doing. We know what you're going to do. You're going to cast Shadow Blade and use nothing but that. Well, I mean, I might do something else. Prove me wrong. <laughs> Will you? I can, I can make giant apes now. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Will you, though? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Fair. Okay. Hey Kelly, what's this uh, magical lamp do? Uh, I don't know. I've heard. You know how people are. Uh, you know, you rub a lantern, a genie pops out, you get wishes. I don't know. I never fucked with it. It was there when I got the place. Hmm. Hey, uh, has anyone seen Eddie? Uh, no. Where'd he go? Oh, did he, uh, did he already leave? Uh, if you guys go by the priest room, there'll probably be a big circle of chalk drawn on the ground with some runes. Oh. <laughs> did you guys see Eddie take things out of the, like, the storeroom? It was a lot of diamonds. He was just carrying it off. Hmm. No. Well, as long as he left some for us, I suppose it's fine. I mean, I didn't look. I just, just a good portion of those were were his. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I uh, left I just... you guys all of them except for what I used. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. As long as you guys are good, I'm going back down and starting to work again. Do you, Do you need anything? Oh. Um, we got a We got a couple things here. I, I I didn't know if you wanted to look at them. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. I I could bring them down. I've got them in the bag no, right no, here. I'm... He's like halfway on the ladder <laughs> trying to decide to go up or down. All right, just just throw it down here, I guess. I'll, I'll look at it. What, are you in just a little hole? No, I'm I'm on the bottom level by the warehouse. There... <laughs> I'll, I'll make my. We'll, way we'll down. go down to you. Well, it's fine. Yeah. We'll... <laughs> okay. Huh? <laughs> So, uh, there's this magical lamp that I don't know what it is. Identify. There's this, like... You cast Identify on the magic lamp. Okay. Please hold. Well, you can keep going, sorry. Oh, yeah, okay. (laughs) Well, it's basically everything. It's it's all all, all the things that I'm going to pull out. Wow. She just gave you all of these things? Uh, They were just in Kelly's shop, and they were going to get looted, because... You know, they're coming with us, so, you know. Yeah, fair enough, you know. Why not? I'm going to also drop all the poison vials on the table as well. Okay. Or all the all the vials and the healing pots, because I don't know which is which on some of them. Okay. Uh, So, random potions? Yeah, some of them are healing pots. Um, Some of them are... Uh, Poison. One of them uh, is poison, and it looks like a healing pot. Do I know will... which is which? Yeah. Surprise poison. <laughs> uh, I can I can identify these, but let me look at the lamp first. Lamps are interesting normally. That's what I figured. Kelly was saying it was uh, perhaps like a genie lamp or something. Mm. Okay, so... What you get is <clears throat> Imagine that but covered Ooh. in dirt, grime and dust. Um when you cast identify, you know that it is a lamp uh and that it is enchanted 
with... <clears throat> oh, fuck, I gotta look up the schools of magic. Why didn't I type this? I'm so sorry. Uh... It is enchanted with the conjuration magic. Um... What do I have to tell you to identify? Pretty much everything, almost. Um, mm -hmm. You know that it will conjure a creature. Hmm. And that's it. That's all you get. Uh, it does conjure something. Let's check the next item, which is a boot. Um, I think. Out, out of character, Jay. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if you just... Did, did we have a list of stuff? I, I do, yes. Uh... So there was, wanna... yeah, the lamp, the boot, there is uh, a lamp, boot. one foot by one foot square of cloth. Okay, so let's do the boot and then the square of cloth next. Okay. I know what the square of cloth is. Well, so I, we need to know, though. The yeah. boot is... One half of a pair of winged boots. Hmm. Interesting. But there's a hole in the heel. Hmm. We need the other boot to actually make it function, and I've never seen a hole that it's going to take some time to look over. So we'll put this one aside then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's that's a that's a for you tinker thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and a cloth. Identify. Okay, this is a swatch of cloth, one foot by one foot. Um, it's called a cloth of hiding. Oh, it's different than what I thought it was. Holy crap! Okay, you can put anything that is small enough to be concealed by the cloth, and when you fold the cloth over it, the item disappears into another extra-dimensional space. Very similar to a bag of holding. Wait, I... Uh, um... Question? Yep. Did we just nuke the boat? No. Okay. <laughs> I... I... I know where you're going with this. You did not just put a bag of holding inside of a bag of holding. Okay. <laughs> this this is an entirely different thing. And <laughs> there's some embroidery on the corner. It has a Z. Uh, you guys have noticed? Are... But a um, small wormhole is forming beneath you. You would also know <laughs> that in order to get something out of the cloth, you have to take the corners of the cloth and like fold them up and then like to make like a hole and then you can reach in and it's like because it's only like one foot by one foot, you're like how my hand's only gonna go this far and then it's gonna get stuck, but you can go as far as you want. Um, mm. because you're reaching into an extra dimensional space. Hmm. Is there anything there there's not anything already in there, is there? Do you reach in? Yeah. Okay. Couldn't you roll a d100 for me? Um. No, I actually physically can't log into the game, so no. Okay. Can somebody <laughs> roll a d100 yeah. for Jason for me? Okay, got it. 44. 44. That's amusing. Can I get another one, please? Is it another one of him? <laughs> uh, 26. Okay. <laughs> okay, and you get two more D100s. Go, go, go. Oh, power. those are different ends uh, of that roll. 10. Ooh, 98. I like that. Mm hmm. Well, that's fucking stupid. I hate you. Why? What did really, we get? Really good roll. I'm gonna tell you in a minute. <laughs> you get another bag of holding. No. Okay, Sorry, guys, uh, this is going in a lot rings. deeper than it should have. <laughs> gonna start tying rope around your waist. <laughs> Just um, in case. 
Cloth of devouring. Are you able my to pull arm, your- My arm! My <clears throat> arm! <laughs> I'm just trying to find the ten. <laughs> it's a big list, I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay. Um, okay. In order of the rolls, so 44, 26, 10, 98, uh, you find 20, uh, uh, a quiver of 20 plus one arrows. Here you go. Go on, take it. Uh, the next one was the 26. Who needs arrows? Uh, that one <laughs> is a cap of water breathing. Oh shit! Well, mm-hmm. I guess I guess I should say you pull out a quiver of arrows and a cap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, a hat? I don't know whose hat that is. <laughs> Here, right, next I'm, time. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hold it and then hit it. Uh, and then a vial of a somewhat whitish liquid. It's uh. Yep. Not completely opaque. It's not. It's somewhere between like water and like milk, like somewhere. That's going. I see one more thing. You gotta hold me though. I'm going in. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna grab the things out of his hand, put them on the table, and okay. uh, get ready to brace. Uh, the last one is an empty vial. Okay. Well, that's the ninety-eight, by the way. Yeah, I kind of assumed. Okay. Um. All the way identify. That, huh? You cast identify on that. It is a plus one blood well vial. Oh. Ooh. Dude, isn't that for <laughs> You don't have That's any sorcerers. <laughs> Starting a multi-class. Huh. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> anyone who has magic in their blood? Uh, I don't have blood. Kind it, of, but not. I mean, a little bit, but kind. not really. <laughs> if you want, you can reroll one time. I'm going to pick off of the top half of the list of things that you could have gotten because 98 is really fucking good, and I know you guys don't have a sorcerer, so it feels bad, man. I was sure someone else can reroll because I can't okay. still do it. <laughs> uh, Unless someone wants to keep it. If someone's multiclassing, it's not bad. True. Is very not bad. wants to go sorcerer. Not uh Oh. Okay. I have nine charisma. I, yeah, yeah, I don't have the throw. charisma for it, so. <laughs> Jay, you just see me throw it back in. Didn't I have eight it. charisma. <laughs> no, so I'm I'm gonna retcon. Instead of a vial, you pull out a wand. Wait. Oh. Mm. Hold There's on. Wands out there. Fuck! You guys don't have this one either. Roll again. <laughs> I throw it back in. I just know it's not good. You guys, you guys Literally don't have. A, you guys, you don't have a warlock, so a pack yeah, of uh, rod of the pack keeper doesn't help you at all. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, third time's the charm. If this doesn't work, someone else needs to reach in here. I, I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry, you don't have a monk roll again. Hold on a second, <laughs> this is not worth it. It was a dragon Grant, belt. Grant, get in here. <sighs> Those are so nice. Alright, Grant, you reach in there. Just I believe in. in you. I reach in. And pull out whatever 86 is. Okay. Uh, you pull out a book. Can you tell me what this is? It's a leather-wrapped book. Identify. You cast Identify, and you have in your hands a plus one arcane grimoire. Ooh. You do have a wizard in the party, so you get that. <clears throat> wizard. Uh, Kato, do you need this book? Yeah, Kato, right? <laughs> uh, sure. Uh... It might be bad, it might be good. Read it. Here you go. Start flipping through it. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Um, Yeah, uh, it's a book. It's a spell book, and it's magical. Um, Did he tell me what it was? He said Arcane Grimoire. He did not. Oh. He he did not. He just said it (laughs) might be good. Here you go. (laughs) Uh, I will start casting Identify. (laughs) Okay. After a minute or whatever, you do figure out that it is a plus one arcane grimoire. Um, those other things that I threw back into there, don't try to grab them out. I think I broke them all. <laughs> those don't exist. That was retcon. <laughs> <laughs> Just a broken glass vial in there. I feel like he has been hit in the head. What is he talking about? What other things? <clears throat> 
<laughs> when we pulled out the, the, the last thing there. Um, there is one more thing in there. And as, as you pull it out, everybody sees a dead rat. Identify. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very glad that you did that because it's just a dead rat. It's completely mundane. <laughs> um, just because it's fun, um, it died three years ago when it accidentally crawled into the cloth and was trapped in the extra dimensional space where there was no food, no air, and it suffocated and has been preserved exactly <laughs> in the state that it died in for the last three years. Ooh, I have an idea. Gran, Gran, you what? see this dead rat right here? Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it seems, when I cast Identify on it, it seems as if uh, it, it, Ebby will inhabit this rat from time to time. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Ebby does not agree to this. Uh, hold on. I'm going to go no, to no, your character I'm, I'm, I'm sheet. fucking with him. I'm actually just fucking with him. That's why. <laughs> no, I'm going to your character sheet to roll fucking uh, deception. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't even think I'm keeping it in that well. I'm just laughing. Uh, yeah, despite saying that and laughing, Grand believes you. Oh, for fuck's sake. It I'm was 12, it by the way. Like, I'm going to take it in like two hands. And then open up my hatch and like put it in there and then close it. And eventually we're gonna have a really stinky robot. So Kelly, Kelly just that. looks at you and goes, uh, "Are you gonna eat that? Because if not, no. Oh, that's well, our that's Ebby. Well, because Ebby, if you're not, yeah, he just just said it was gonna be Ebby. He, he can speak through it. That's what identify saw. Oh, it's a sending rat. I've heard of those. Mm. Ed we put this in your rat. bag of holding, actually. It might get stinky. <laughs> I'm going to hand you um, the rat. Grant, Grant, he said for you to hold on to it, though. Yes, if it's in the bag of holding, we won't be able to receive the message. Okay, you need to roll deception, to too, Merrick. <laughs> With disadvantage, because he Why knows you. Why am I rolling so bad? So... <laughs> Why am I rolling so bad? Okay, <laughs> okay yeah, you, you're, you're picking up that Merrick's lying to you. Why are you lying to me, Merrick? I don't want a stinky bag in the bag of holding. Or a stinky rat in the bag of holding. But it, it's currently not stinky. It won't be stinky. No, as long as you it's in you, you're fine. It's pretty mummified. It should be fine in you. I, I am not a smart person. Uh, I put it back inside. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> but, okay. I'm going to tell you. it's gonna. I know it's going to get stinky, so... <laughs> I I can't smell, so that's more for you. All right, and that, that's everything. Uh, identify on the cap. Do you uh, present the dice, or do you keep them for yourself? Wait, was there dice? Not that you know yet. Oh, I don't know that. Yeah. yeah. Bob. What? Go Sorry. On. Are you gonna have the <laughs> dice identified, or would you like to keep? Them? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll pull them out. These were bone dice, but identify. perhaps they have more. Okay. You cast Identify. For this, you get the entire item card. I'm going to read it to you. Are you ready? Okay. So I, I, I try to verbatimly describe this as it's getting read to me. Okay. Zaxar's Dice Set of Luck Gaming Set. One Platinum Piece. If you're proficient with a gaming set, you can add your proficiency bonus to ability checks that you make to play a game with that set. Each type of gaming set requires a separate proficiency. Blah blah blah, normal rules. Alternatively, if you want to, you can choose to make both dice show any pips. To show anything? Yeah, any pips. Where is Pips, by the way? <laughs> Good question. Where did that motherfucker go? Is that, is that I don't know. I can make it show whatever number I want, then? Mm. Um, the way that I wrote it is exactly that. Um, which, now that I realize it, I should have written it in a different way, but I didn't, so I'm going to leave it. You could theoretically have it show seven Pips per side. 
Like, I was just, mm-hmm. I was just thinking that. I was just thinking that too. Yeah. <laughs> so you roll your dice, and you can just think of whatever you want it to roll, and it'll show whatever you want it to show. Even though those don't, these even though exist. there's no yeah. dice with seven, like it's a six sided yeah. dice, right? There can't be seven pips on it. It'll hold, still show hold, that if you want it to. Move I on. hold off on telling him that last part, and I say, Cohen, what's your favorite number? Hmm. I don't. I don't know what my. I don't know. Fuck. Uh, nine. Nine. Okay, one or both. Both, obviously. So <laughs> both dice show nine pips. This is awkward. That's not normal. I don't know. I did dice. Uh, magic, I guess. Interesting. Yeah, they're yours. You just think about what you want to do, and they kind of turn it. Oh, getting in, getting into gambling. I guess I will. I'll pick them <laughs> up and pocket them quickly. Okay. Uh, I, I'll identify the water breathing cap and then okay. the other thing. Yeah, the uh, cap is a cap of water breathing. And then the ammunition is plus one. It's a quiver plus one arrows. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Yeah. It's not Could bad. We melt down the arrows to bullets and they retain their plus one property? You can certainly try. <laughs> uh. <laughs> We also have this uh, white liquid uh, glass. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I yeah. Know. That's just a vial of antitoxin. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> that one we should keep because we have all this poison around. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't, don't show it to Kelly. She might get offended. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. You, I didn't even know you were there. You were below my, my line of sight. It happens. Like a lot. You'd be surprised. Mm-hmm. People just talk right over me all the time. Wait, I mean, Grant, Grant, how do you even look down? Do you have to bend your whole body? It doesn't even look like you have a neck. I just do this. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. Why did we let him on the ship still? Oh, I just didn't notice. It's fine. Don't worry about me. Well, should we get going to Blackmarsh then? If there's nothing else? I mean, I think that's only what we were aiming towards. Are we all ready? Alright, then let's set sail. So, uh, Kelly knows that they're going to perform the doctor role, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, scra- uh, scratch. Ebby, uh, is- Ebby told her. Are we yeah, leaving the next morning? Because I don't want to sail out of town with 2 HP. Uh, I mean, I could just heal you with spell slots and stuff. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I, I got you. I got you. You know, I really wish you would have said something sooner, and I would have done something sooner, but... I got you. Uh, just give me one second. Um, I haven't done this in a minute. Usually I'm on the other side of it. But it is my job. So everybody just calm down. Form a line. And I'll take care of you. Oh, thank you. I stand right in front of her. I'll stand behind Grant. Yep, I'll be third. Well, I didn't take any damage at all. Um, you guys okay? <clears throat> it was well, we took a little bit of feedback collapsed. from uh, Abby dying. Yeah. Okay. Uh, whoever's first in line, who am I looking at? What, wh- who are you? Hi. Metal All right. Uh, do you have a name or should I just call you Metal Guy? Metal Guy works grand. Okay, name. Metal Guy. I noticed you don't currently have an arm. Do you need me to cast Regenerate or are you good? No. I'm okay. going to replace that. Don't worry. I'm on Okay, that. so That's just... over there on the shelf. So just healing. Yes. Okay. I haven't done this in a while. So just... Just letting you know, it's been a, it's been a minute. I mean, it's um, been precisely thirty-seven minutes since we've started this long conversation. Anybody ever tell you you kill him? Is there a chance I what? No, don't worry about it. I no, I won't kill him. I just I'm saying I haven't cast cure wounds in a minute. Usually it's inflict wounds. 
Yeah, that's what I kind of assumed. <clears throat> yeah, no, that's why I had to, like, center myself and, like, you know what, just... Anybody ever tell you you guys are really fucking weird? Yes. Hmm. Constantly. <laughs> Alright, fine. Don't move, this is probably the right spell. <laughs> Alright, uh, there you go. You heal for 30 hit points. Damn. Is that shared, or...? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. So we each get 10? 10 to each of you, yeah. Okay. And then she's like, alright, metal man, move, move, move. Next one up. That's me. Uh, uh, wait one second. What? Did you did you say you could cast a spell called regenerate? Yeah, you can't. What about heal? Uh, I didn't prepare that. I think regenerate would actually be better than heal. Over time, Hold uh, on. how little it. Yeah. Um, why have none of us just tried to remove curse this? I've offered. That's a good question. I'm just gonna touch myself and remove curse. We might just die. Yeah. Oh, bring feedback loop. Okay. <laughs> right. Never mind. No, yeah, he's you stopped. said it. Do it. <laughs> yep, just do it. Stop. I uh, forgot about that. Each curse party member takes six. Uh, what's your maximum hit points, sorry? I would like to go back in time, please. Sorry, you can't do it. You <laughs> right, said fair it. Enough. 66. 66 damage to the three curse members. Hmm. Cool. I drop unconscious. Uh, uh, I drop unconscious. I oh, too. Oh. Guess what? You didn't actually do it this time. He did it to himself. <laughs> Kelly just looks down and goes, Was it me? Did I? The other arm falls off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I cast the right spell. Oh, I forgot about that. Maybe, maybe he's one of those reverses where you actually have to damage him to heal him. <laughs> okay. Uh, Can you roll a deception check? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he wanted deception. I, I, you know what? That's fair. I'll make that check. Yeah, one sec. Deception. I'll roll it publicly because why not? And then yeah, that's about right. Her insight. Yeah, I can't hold it in. I'm just laughing while I'm saying this. Oh, she just looks at you and is like, "You fucking kidding me?" <laughs> so uh, anyway, all right. Uh, here we go again. Uh, you heal 37, split three ways is 12. 12? Who'd you, who'd you heal? Uh, Gran. Is he still shared? Or yep. Is he... still shared? Oh, yep. For fuck's sake. Oh. That's, that's, <laughs> why, that's why I said you all heal 12. <clears throat> I'm guessing that didn't work. Maybe you just have to try one more time. At least it didn't amplify. Oh, I should ask, which spell did you cast? Was it lesser or greater? Uh, why is my character keep frozen? Uh, uh, the sure third you level can't cast block. greater. Yeah, okay. No, so not greater. Got it. Got it. Then yes. No, it's just, it's that's just remove curse. Yeah, that's restoration. I think. Oh, I was thinking of restoration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you're good. Right, one second. You're good. Now, remove uh, curse does exactly what happened. Okay. Sorry, I, I was thinking of restoration for some reason. My brain doesn't yeah, work as well as it should. Regenerate would be the best, but I don't know how you're going to split up one HP. <laughs> That's uh, the part that I was worried about. <laughs> I'm intentionally not going to because it takes place like per turn, and that's really annoying. And mm -hmm. I don't have to deal with that, so that's just not happening. <laughs> uh, she was only asking about regenerate and if, if somebody was missing a limb. Mm -hmm. um, be because he was missing an arm. Ah. Uh, uh. Yeah. Uh, she didn't prepare heal or mass heal, so it's cure wounds or firestorm, regenerate, temple of maybe not firestorm, temple of the gods, earthquake. Um, it's temple of the gods. Power kill. Insect yeah, plague. Good place to take a holy take a weapons. Sleep. Hallow. Death Ward, Banishment, Aura of Life, Spirit Shroud, Spirit Guardian, Speak with Dead, Sending, Revivify, Remove Curse, Motivational Speech, uh, Mass Healing Word, I guess, could work, um, Bestow Curse, Warding Bond, Prayer of Healing, 
Locate Object, Gentle Repose, Blindness, Deafness, Augury, Aid, Shield of Faith, Sanctuary, and Cure Wounds. Those are your options. Uh, just Cure Wounds just a few more times, I suppose. Okay, cool. Yep. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do. Okay, uh, Big Metal Man's done. Move out of the way. Next. Yep, me. All right. She hits you. 47, so divide by 3 is a number that's math. 14? <laughs> 15. 15. 15. Okay, 15. Okay, and she shoves you out of the way and goes over to uh, Cohen. 40, so 13? 13. Cool. Nailed it. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. You guys You guys good? Uh, yep. ooh, I think so. You know what? We got a long day ahead of ourselves. Have you guys had lunch yet? No. I got you. I don't think so. I think our chef can do that. I mean, okay, fine. I was going to make a uh, a, a hero's feast, but you're good. Oh, well, that's oh, a little expensive. I, I mean, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude, but... We'll keep that in the back pocket for now. Yeah. No, okay. you can make a hero's feast. Just to let you know, I only have the one bowl. So it's a one-time use thing. Mm. I don't mind uh, using it for you guys because we're new friends and I'm a brand new party member and I want to ingrain myself real nice with you guys. So just, you know, I only have the uh, one, in, you know, diamond encrusted bowl. So I'll keep it in mind. We appreciate it. Of course, anytime. Well, one time, but anytime. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? Yes, of course. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Shockingly, yes. All right. Wait, can we fabricate another diamond bowl? Ooh, we should be able to. We have diamonds, yeah. right? Yeah. As long as we have the raw materials. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which we do. That's a... uh, convert raw materials into the, oh, the same material. Because it's not a magic item. Yeah. Or just I mean, a bowl. It's just a regular bowl. Yeah, in, in theory you could. Yeah. It's a fancy bowl. Dang. <laughs> so, uh, she looks like... We should just buy some gold. She looks over at Cohen and says, uh, so what did you, uh, what'd you do with my chair? Is it in here? Do I have an office? Where did I put the chair? Oh, in her office. office. Did I've you seen. leave it up on the deck? I mean, that's fine. I like the view. That's cool. I think I did at the moment just because I was so excited with all the other things. I, I can move it. Where would you like? No, you, you know what? For now, the deck is fine. Uh, if it rains, though, we got to bring it down. Sure. Yeah, we could do that. All right, if you need me, I'm going to be uh, renewing some spell slots in my chair. And she walks back upstairs and presumably sits in a rocking chair and just rocks on the on the ship. <laughs> is it rude to ask someone in D&D &D what their class is? Like a... No. Is that like a weird thing? Nope. Do you say class? I think you'd probably you would do it somewhat with somewhat you, like you'd probably you'd probably be like you know what kind of magic user are you kind like, of thing yeah yeah like, like what what work do you get into type thing yeah, or yeah that sort well, of thing but like the classes the themselves of like do that, exist yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so like if somebody's a cleric they would say that they're a cleric you know they may say they're a priest or something like that a wizard might say they're a mage or a wizard or I was know, just trying to think of like the nomenclature for actual like the word class yeah if that like exists but uh, okay. you could use class if you wanted to i'm not gonna be like hey you know come up with a not out of game meta way of saying that like it's just i'm not gonna be too anal about that uh anything you guys want to do before you guys sail off into the night sans Eddie. Uh, i guess just go buy like 10 bowls regular ass bowls Okay. Smart. Uh, okay, cool. So you leave the ship. Uh, you see Kelly just sitting in a rocking chair, just ever so faintly, gently, you know, rocking back and forth. Got a deep smile on her face. And somehow she has found some tobacco, rolled it, and is smoking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you make your way into town. You find some bowls and you bring it back and you've got some bowls um, all right 
just plain wooden bowls? Uh, yeah, just something that I, we can fabricate eventually to just shove gems on the sides, basically. Okay. Uh, I'll have to get a price for that later. I Maybe one gold piece per, I guess? Let's just do that. Yeah, sure. Most of it comes from the gems, I imagine. Yeah. But and I, the, I, the hot glue the that you need to stick them on. <laughs> That's mad. No, you just use Elmer's, dude. It's all good. It's just, what, horse extract and spit? Call it done. When you say um, horse extract, I think of very different things. Gross. You're saying they take yeah, the that's the wrong kind of glue. <laughs> they grind it up and they put it in glue. Like I don't know, I don't know how glue is made. Look, I missed that episode. Of how it's made? <laughs> don't think it's made with that stuff. Mm-mm. I don't know. There was that when I was growing up, people were like, "Oh, glue's made from horses." I'm like, whatever. Tastes great. I don't complain. <laughs> Smells good too. Horse or glue? <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I tried to stay. I tried to stay there with it, but I couldn't. <laughs> Okay. Um, is that it? I think so. Um, so, guys, I've kind of got this extra rod that I don't need anymore. Anybody else want to use it? What is it? Is your penis Whoa. detachable too, like his? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Do you have one, Grant? This whole time? fabricate myself an Electrum penis? <laughs> Are you rolling for that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I bought a bunch of electric man. I can just fabricate. Um, oh, no, but seriously, what is it? It's a wand of the war mage plus one. Uh, I don't know what that. Technically, any spellcaster can use it. it. Doesn't have to be a mage. You know, no one else is taking it, but I don't know how many spell attacks that I actually use. Uh, only like guiding bolt, really. Yeah. Yeah, for clerics. It's more useful for someone else, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, I well, the can... other cleric left the party. I could possibly <laughs> use it. Um... But I, I can also like r- change my shit to go more of an offensive mage than what I currently am. A uh, cleric. Than yeah, what I so most am. of your stuff's gonna be saves. There's very yeah. few attack rolls. Oh yeah, like, no, spiritual right. weapon yeah. is about it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, no, we get lightning bolt and we get that's a save. Bolt. Lightning bolt to save. That's yeah. a dex save. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Inflict well, wounds. I had that's no idea. true. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. I I don't need that save. Yeah. Probably be better on Ven. Yeah, I could. I, I I can hold on to it for right now. I I promise not to deconstruct it. <laughs> Insight check. <laughs> Why do you even have to say that? I'm just, I'm just, uh, you know, forward it thinking. Wasn't even making... a thought, but now it's a thought. Uh, don't worry about it. I, I, I won't destroy magic items that aren't mine. Oh, we're we're heading out though, right? I'm not gonna roll it. <laughs> we're, we're setting sail. <laughs> okay. I mean, I guess, but <clears throat> okay. So as you guys set sail. Uh, we'll close the session here as you guys are leaving Garriott, and before we sign off for the night, I want to say, unfortunately, Derek will be leaving for a little while, but it's only because he's got to be a dad, um, again. So, uh, stream, if you didn't know, uh, his wife is Preggers, and she's, like, right there at the cusp, so, uh, he's gonna take the lion's share dadding for a little while. Uh, until the new one is born, and then, you know, so he'll come back shortly after, well, sometime after that. We don't want to put a date to it yet, but, um, yeah, he needed some time off to do the dad thing, so. We'll miss you. Indeed. And, I'll stay uh, up to date on the VODs, <laughs> and I will chime in with commentary on your antics, as I am sure they will be many. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fun. I'm also going to ditch one of you guys with the uh, receipt for the party bank, and uh, one of you guys is going to have to start (laughs) taking notes. Look like it's chasing. (laughs) Don't know know if this cam hasn't caught up or what. The stream hasn't caught up. I'm going to use the stream. (laughs) 
Ah, uh, rip. So we should do all of these decisions right now because he'll be 30 seconds behind. Perfect. I mean, he's in the Discord call though. He could have just looked at the Discord call. <laughs> like, I wasn't looking at the. I was. I was looking at because I can't see anything. So like, yeah. I'm looking at stream. <laughs> I get it. Hey, do you want a plus one or no? Absolutely. Okay, he doesn't have to do notes. Somebody else has to do notes. What? <laughs> okay, just Jeez. tonight he doesn't have to do notes. Christ, this is a massive receipt. I keep very oh. thorough notes. You do. See that. I mean, we've we've heard the recaps every week. He basically tells exactly what happened the week before, so I'm gonna get it. I mean, it's thorough too. Like that's mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's good stuff. It also um, helps me remember if we've purchased something and then forgotten about it because we've done that in previous campaigns. True. <laughs> true. I, I especially like the fact that it's a receipt and not just this is how much gold we have now. Because mm -hmm. you can see, oh, we did, we have this much gold. Oh, that's because we bought this item that we haven't used in six months. Fair enough. Um, okay, cool. Well, stream, it's been mm. real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, check out the Twitch stream. We go live every Monday, 6.30 to 9.30, 10 o'clock-ish. And uh, we may be back next week with D&D. &D. Not sure. We'll get back to you. We may not be. I'm not sure. If we're not, I'll be playing Baldur's Gate, either with Lauren or with Lauren and Taylor or with Lauren and Taylor and Jason. If that campaign if anyone's to not going to be here next week, it's going to be me because I'm going to the Nux game, potentially. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. So then, if we're not playing D&D, &D, then Lauren and I will play Baldur's Gate. Probably. Mm -hmm. I don't want to speak for you, but, like... I'm not doing anything. Alright, cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and not to put you on the spot while we're still on live stream. <laughs> it's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, that being said, um, Twitch Prime, subscribe if you want. If not, it's cool. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye bye Watch the stream break my Switch scenes. Bye bye